good afternoon viewers welcome to the latest episode of thoughtful leaders an initiative under thoughts on education at college dunia.com i'm very glad today that professor kamla suganti ma'am has joined with us today currently serving as the principal of gibs b school banshankri ma'am is carrying 21 years of teaching and 8 years of industry experience so very glad to have on board you today ma'am thank you good afternoon all thank you for joining yes, us yes ma'am thank uh, you so much ma'am as a person with such a vast experience uh, i would request you to share some of your what the kind of the journey what you had in this industry yeah uh bilal has already given introduction about me my name and my present uh, position i have started my career 90 to 98 in industry and uh, in between a gap uh, for improvising my skills upskilling myself and uh, 2002 i joined into this education uh, i mean organizations and i started my career to teach for uh, second pu students because first i want to understand the, the adolescent age their uh, uh, you know uh, how how they will uh, react at that particular age towards education that's a turning point they have to decide uh, where they have to land up so to understand the, the best way i just entered into the pu uh, and then i just climbed the ladder and i went to degree and then post graduation and i equipped myself with the mphil and phd degree along uh, with uh, some corporate exposure as team lead in axa business services to do their performance management uh, for 5000 employees across the globe and i have published more than 75 research articles in reputed journals and national and international level and i am the boe for uh, different universities and colleges and uh, i'm guiding at present seven students for phd one has completed and others on their way of submission and this is my journey wonderful mom we are uh, our pleasure is our to go to this so uh, coming to first question being the principal of gibs b school what is your philosophy of leadership how would you describe your leadership style i always believe in participative style uh, when Uh, a leader wants to know what's happening as well as to just eradicate some mistakes and at the same time uh, motivate their employees he should be a participative leader but uh, at the same time we should follow a bit of bureaucracy bureaucracy also because everything should be rule based as far as my knowledge is concerned and uh, rules and policies will discipline anyone because self discipline won't happen always in everyone's case we cannot generalize that so uh, we have to uh, just uh, create the discipline in the organization we need to be very very careful regarding this rules and policies and i should be a participative type of leader uh, i will take classes if uh, somebody is writing research article i will be the co author and uh, i will do everything because uh, in everybody's uh, life learning plays a vital role till the death everyone should learn so i believe in participating but bureaucracy should, should also be there great ma'am being the principal uh, of jbs uh, how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and administration of your college see promotion is essential uh, in today's win win situation everyone uh, should be on their toes to reach the echelon in their life so definitely promotion plays a vital role if you are ambani also or if you are an ordinary startup owner also so for doing promotion we can conduct management fest and our students are our ambassadors so the best in education field you have to give for your students definitely word of mouth it will spread and employees they are the second level of uh, our brand ambassadors so they should be nurtured properly and uh, i believe in carrot and stick policy if they do good you please give carrots if they are not performers just stick policy will work out uh, that's what again i want to insist on rule based at the same time a leader should know in and out of this education field otherwise 
uh, he or she cannot be a performer exactly <clears throat> the education system in india and other foreign countries are structured very differently so in your experience what can an inbound student gain from studying here in your college see i should agree first the fact we are just service providers as far as india is concerned in foreign they will just in foreign countries they will get into the manufacturing sectors so to make our students to get into a manufacturing sector or being the entrepreneurs we should inculcate uh, what uh, a startup should do should not do do's and don'ts and uh, how they can be a successful entrepreneurs in their life we should not create only massive uh, you know service providers we should uh, inculcate uh, how in business field they can shine always it is not service but in manufacturing so but there is there is a huge gap because in this 20 years i am seeing uh, sometimes i feel bored even with strategic teaching strategic management because again and again i am telling the same thing for the past uh, 20 years that uh, there should be a definite change in that and uh, i am welcoming all these private universities where at least for the win win situation they are going for um, you know nurturing this incubation centers as well as uh, research and other works and uh, definitely our government is also funding but i feel the funding is not sufficient for educational institutions and uh, institutions also should strive to maintain the standard if the standard is maintained and the gap between the uh, i mean education system as well as the expectations of uh, company should be uh, bridged for that every college should take the initiative to conduct the bridge courses and uh, we have to do some uh, value added courses definitely for the students which will definitely over a period of time one day we cannot make uh, drastic changes it will take a period of time but it should come from each and every college and we should not uh, mass production is not our ultimate but quality should be there absolutely on point see uh, ma'am is seriously throwing some light towards the issue where how the curriculum is outdated and all in these days and how much we have to change accordingly any insights into how your college could be more welcoming to students of different races or uh, economic backgrounds see first of all i should admit uh, our gibbs d school our management is is uh, just qualitative they don't see for uh, Uh, the sum of amount are uh, profit motivated people because uh, our fees is so low and uh, we are welcoming maximum through pgcet and we are surrendering in fact our seats to pgcet so we are getting different from different backgrounds and uh, definitely in our college we will insist each and every student to go for scholarship so when they get the scholarship and i insist on going for bank loan at pg level at pg level at least they should not depend on their parents so we give the financial statement for them to get the bank loans and we will see to it that uh, all the students are getting placed uh, at our uh, own effort level and uh, definitely we will see to it that they are paying their bank loan also properly in uh, without any uh, non performance uh, thing and uh, this and we have a very good alumni association Uh, which helps the present students to get the good jobs or internships and we ourselves we teachers and uh, uh, management we try our level best for our students to get the paid interns due as soon as they entered into our college so our college timings is facilitating the students uh, that after 2 o'clock they can go for part time job 2 hours 3 hours and continue their studies so all these measures definitely will help the student to pursue their studies as well as they are not depending on the parents for their day to day expenses as well as for their fees and uh, this will definitely create a good so- i mean society uh, of the people or the birds where uh, they are not depending on their parents at the same time they can stand on their own legs that much we will just push them into the society great what do you think your roles and responsibilities to the college and the students are see for uh, two types of roles i need to play one is for the students and another side is for our management as far as management is concerned uh, naturally the admission portion placement and uh, how i am uh, making the qualitative students uh, that definitely it's a challenging position for any leader for that matter uh, but uh, as far as my college is concerned we have a very good team of teachers 
and a trainer and uh, because of her locality we are uh, getting good response from the students as well as companies uh, they wish to visit our campus and uh, almost in the third semester uh, they all get placed as far as students are concerned as i told you earlier uh, i will help them to get the bank loan and i will help them to get the internships not only me my team uh, we will help them to get the internships as well as our placement officer and uh, trainer uh, will see to it that they are getting into good jobs and uh, we are getting from uh, lower middle class to middle class students and uh, we see to it that they are all getting nurtured and uh, they are climbing the ladder of success great ma'am uh, it was actually my pleasure to have uh, on board you here today and uh, hearing whatever you wanted to throw some light towards the current education system and how well you are serving the society through your college and how well you are helping the students to gain uh, the post graduation uh, thank you so much uh, from college in our team for joining with us today i should say thanks to you bilal for giving me an opportunity to address whoever may be visiting this website and uh, definitely we will keep in touch and i am appreciating your efforts uh, on behalf of your company as well as uh, the services your company is providing for educational institutions a great uh, uh, job you are doing thank you thank so you much so much. Thank you.